I don't want to go out there and see people that I know. That my family and my close friends, I'm okay with that. Kirsten Ivasevich had encephalitis, an acute inflammation of the brain. It put her into a coma, and it damaged many of her cranial nerves, including her facial nerve. Her speech was affected, her swallowing was affected, um, and she's had fairly good recovery of function. A lot of the nerves, except for the facial nerve, she had absolutely no recovery of the facial nerve. Kirsten couldn't blink, couldn't smile, couldn't speak clearly enough to be understood by most people. She sought the expertise of Dr. Peter Nelligan, a specialist in microvascular reconstruction and director of the Center for Reconstructive Surgery at the University of Washington Medical Center. Oh, that's, that's spectacular. Dr. Nelligan operated on the right side of Kirsten's face, and now she's returning for the same procedure on her left. What we did at her first operation was to transfer a muscle from her leg to her face and connect it to a nerve that normally works the, the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is one of the muscles that we use to clench our teeth. And so now, in order to activate the new muscle, she clenches her teeth and the muscle moves the corner of her mouth. With practice, Kirsten will eventually be able to smile without actually clenching her teeth. Already, with the new muscle on only her right side, there's a difference. And it's not just with her smile. The surgery has helped Kirsten improve or regain many of the facial functions that she had lost. It's really worked wonders. It really has.